Now that we've covered cellular structures, it's time to move on to cellular division. My name is Sarah, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about binary fission and mitosis. Despite the differences between prokaryotic cell division and eukaryotic cell division, they do share some common features. You have to have DNA replication, you have to have segregation of the new DNA molecules, and you have to have cytokinesis, which is where these cells actually split apart. Prokaryotic organisms are going to replicate by what is called binary fission. Prokaryotic organisms are only going to have one circular chromosome, so that's going to replicate. Copies of each chromosome are going to attach to different parts of the cell membrane by what is called a mesosome. The cells are going to pull apart, and then you have cytokinesis, resulting in the parent cell, which is the original cell, and the daughter cell, which is the new cell. Prokaryotic division is very simple compared to eukaryotic cell division. Eukaryotic organisms are going to go through a cell cycle. There are four phases in the cell cycle. You have the G1 phase or the GAP1 phase, which is where growth occurs and synthesis of molecules that the cell needs to grow and function. Cells that don't divide any longer, such as neurons, will be in the growth one phase forever. They're not going to divide anymore. They're not going to need to replicate their DNA or anything like that. The S phase is called the DNA synthesis phase. The G2 phase or GAP2 phase is where the cell prepares, prepares for mitosis. And the M phase is the mitosis phase. G1, S, and G2 phases are collectively termed interphase, which means the cell is not actively, actively dividing. Eukaryotic cell division is going to involve a couple of steps. You've got the division of the nucleus, which is called karyokinesis, and then you have the division of the rest of the cell, the cytoplasm and all the organelles, which is called cytokinesis. Somatic cells, or body cells, are going to um, accomplish karyokinesis by what is called mitosis. Sex cells, or gametes, are going to accomplish karyokinesis by what is called meiosis. And like I said, in this video, we're going to be covering mitosis. So before a cell can divide, it has to replicate its DNA, which is found in the nucleus. Cells do this during interphase. During interphase, the nucleus is a distinct organelle. It is bound by the nuclear membrane. DNA exists as euchromatin, which is just long, stringy strands of DNA. It's not very coiled, and it allows for transcription or the reading of DNA to occur so the cell can synthesize proteins and other molecules it needs to grow and function. Mitosis is the division of the nucleus. It is composed of four different steps. You've got prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. The way I was always taught to remember this was prometa and atella. It sounds kind of dumb, but it works. During prophase, chromatin is going to condense and coil to form what are called chromosomes. The nucleoli and nuclear membrane are going to begin to disappear. Centrioles, if the cell has them, are going to migrate to opposite ends of the cell, and spindle fibers are going to begin to form. Before we move on to the next step, there are a couple of vocabulary terms you need to Somatic cells are diploid. This means they contain two copies of every chromosome. You've got one from the mother and one from the father. Chromosomes, when they condense, are composed of what are called chromatids. For example, this is a chromosome. Each half of the chromosome is a chromatid. These are just identical replications of the same DNA. So you've got one chromatid from your mother. It replicates to form the chromosome, which contains two chromatids. And then one chromatid from your father, it replicates to form the chromosome from your father. Chromatids are joined by what is called a centromere, which is this little black dot in the middle. And then you've got homologous chromosomes. You've got the chromosome from your mother and the chromosome from your father. They contain the exact same DNA, the same genes, but these genes may be in different forms, and these different forms are called alleles. But anyways, as you can see, you've got the nuclear membrane is beginning to disappear. You've got your centrioles here, 
and your spindle fibers coming out from your centrioles. During metaphase, all the chromosomes are going to line up in the middle of the cell. By this time, the nucleus has completely dif disappeared, and the spindle fibers are going to begin to attach to centromeres at locations called kinetochores. And you can see in this drawing, all the chromosomes are lined up in the middle, the spindle fibers are attached, and the nucleus, nuclear membrane is completely gone. During anaphase, each side of the chromosome, which are called the chromatids, are going to be pulled to opposite sides of the cell. See if you noticed in the last picture, it was they were all attached. During anaphase, these two are going to be pulled apart. And during the last phase of mitosis, the spindle fibers are going to detach. The cytoplasm begins to separate into two parts. The plasma membrane is going to pinch in from both sides and the nucleus is going to reform, chromosomes begin to end coil, new centrioles are formed, and the cell is going to begin to enter, re-enter interphase. And this is just a picture of telophase. You can see the plasma membrane begin to pinch in. All the chromosomes, excuse me, chromatids are on opposite sides. Now the last part of cell division is cytokinesis, which is the separation of the cytoplasm. This is when new organelles are going to be synthesized and it forms this thing called a cleavage furrow which is when the cell is actually going to split and you can see here you've got your mitochondria all your other uh, organelles they're going to divide and each like the organelles are just going to go to each new cell you've got the parent cell and the daughter cell but that is all I have for mitosis and cellular division for now but in the next video, I'll cover meiosis, which is the process of division for sex cells.